Hello. So for part A, we need to figure out what y equals at 2, at 2.5, at 2.1, at 2.05, and 2.01. So when we plug 2 into our equation, we get 16. For 2.5, it's 0. For 2.1, it's 13.44. For 2.05, it's 14.76. And for 2.01, it's 15.7584. Now, to find the average velocity, we're basically finding the slope between the 2.5, 2.1, 2.05, 2.01, and 2. So we subtract the y values. So for the first one, we're going to take 0 minus 16, and we're going to put that over 2.5 minus 2, and that equals negative 32. Then we're going to do 13.44 minus 16 over 21.1 minus 2, and we get negative 25.6. Next, we do 14.76 minus 16 divided by 2.05 minus 2, and that comes out to be negative 24.8. And lastly, we do 15.7584 minus 16, divided by 2.01 minus 2, and that comes out to be negative 24.16. So it looks like our numbers are getting closer and closer and closer to negative 24. So I'm going to guess that our instantaneous velocity when t equals 2 is going to be negative 24.